a number of Tesla investors are preserving their use for. Performance predictions for the automotive industry in 2023. Here's another that might be of interest, including Elon Musk's favorite retail analysis and many well-known Tesla balls. Tesla's Q4 revenue is what James Stephenson anticipates according to him, at a record high level, increasing above $25 billion, which is already greater than the company's 2019 earnings. While the bears may anticipate that Tesla's latest price reduction will ruin its prospects, he cited for revenue in 2023. He does forecast quarterly record deliveries and growth. Tesla's revenue in 2023 an analyst recently shared a chart of Tesla's average revenue on Twitter. His prediction for 2Q4 2020. He asserts that he anticipates tremendous growth for Tesla's energy. Megapack's revenue increased once the new factory began operating. Lathra picks up speed and incentives begin in 2023. Tesla is at the moment expanding its massive factory. The Megapack plant of the business. The businesses. All of the Megapack batteries are essential component for its future goals for renewable energy and Tesla has had success with increasing the production the car company that was noted in its 2020. It will be energetic in the 2Q3 update letter. Deployments with a shortage which have becoming more common expanding by 62% to 2.1 gigawatt hours in Q3 over the previous year. Tesla stated that this growth was notably in the update letter. Impressive given the lack of chips. According to Tesla, there is still an excess of demand for its products and a chip production constrained its capacity. Supply is something the business is working on. In order to meet rising demand, Lathrop, California's dedicated 40 gigawatt hour megapack facility is increasing production. In what ways does this affect Tesla? But it's gone so. Please click the like button if you enjoy this kind of content. And subscribe to stay informed about Tesla's latest development, said James Stevenson. In his tweet that Tesla produces the top two luxury vehicles. The Model 3 and Model Y are the two most common vehicles worldwide. But he added sales of the Model 3 are still rising. Not as much as the Model Y whose production at Tesla's newest factory in Austin and Berlin is ramping up to over 3,000 vehicles per week. Global markets for Tesla vehicles are doing nicely. The automaker is no longer merely the top EV manufacturer in the U.S. It became the most popular luxury vehicle in the nation. Brand according to 2022. To the Research and Data Center for Automotive News. In 2022, Tesla sold 491,000 automobiles, a 44% increase over the prior year. What causes? The fact that Tesla led sales and is what makes this more intriguing. Luxury market during a year in which American sales of high-end vehicles decline. There is no denying that Tesla vehicles are growing. Controlling important EV markets. And this is anticipated to increase revenue. The following years. In a tweet, James Stephenson claimed that Tesla's earnings per delivery are exceptional. For any automaker, much less one that makes electric cars. In his article, he claimed that Tesla's intentional price cuts will prevent earnings per delivery increase in 2023. However, higher earnings are anticipated. Owing to deliveries, includes the Tesla analysis. He continued by saying that more purchasers' decisions to buy will likely be the main driver of earnings growth in the coming years. As features advance, pay higher fees for FSD. Tesla has been in terms of its FSD software, at least. And when it does, there will be a lot to do. Recently at the Tesla I Day, the business released some significant data. It is the software. Beta testing is currently ongoing. Tesla, meanwhile, has not yet offered a schedule for when such program will be released. It is expected to be prepared to be released soon. The carmaker reports an increase in FSD beta testers since 2000. In 2021, to 160,000. In 2022, despite some setbacks along the way, notably in the news recently surrounding its safety. Well, the majority revealed that the FWD system will be available. Customers will be served in due course and the software will now cost $15,000. 
Meanwhile, subject regulatory approval, he also disclosed plans for a global launch. It's the FST. Tesla has yet another gold mine at his disposal. That has enormous potential. Automaker will boost its profits. James Stevenson mentioned that earnings growth matters when talking about profitability. Investors the most. And this is actually the case. Investors are encouraged to wager on a business that exhibits strong signals of profitability and has a solid track record of earnings. Probably here is where. Tesla enjoys a considerable competitive advantage. At a San Francisco Goldman Sachs tech conference that was by invitation only, Martin Veitch, the head of Tesla Investor Relations, said that the automaker has already started making the necessary manufacturing upgrades to scale EV production to broad audiences. According to VHA, the assembly process's ES improvement is what allowed Tesla to reduce its production cost per vehicle. $84,000 in 2017, but has since dropped to barely $36,000. And hardly any of these cost savings materialized. Due to the lower battery prices, to maximize productivity and cut down on time, that manufacturer has taken advantage of modern production methods and a new plant layout. I had to construct automobiles. Tesla has also started to change its EVs by removing some of the components they no longer need. The manufacturer already declared its intention to get rid of all USB-C ultrasonic sensors. Go into the new automobiles from there. Tesla Vision technology in place. If the business succeeds, it will be able to reduce prices because sensors are expensive. Their production budget in part. Tesla too. According to AID is increasing the production of 4,680 battery cells. Most recent car company update. By increasing battery cell production for cars, it is making progress. At the same time, it wants to lessen reliance on the brand new cell. This really is. Tesla is attempting to utilize. Huge casts of machinery are used to create car bodies from a select few enormous cast components. In 2021, the automaker mentioned that it was collaborating with a few dozen other automakers who were using the same strategy. Keeping in mind all of these fundamentals, will Tesla likely produce at least 10,000 vehicles each? It's true and this could rise even further. Similarly, Tesla exhibits outstanding financial success with its humanoid robot Optimus. After the 2022 debut of the Optimus prototype, not all investors were impressed with it. However, while Musk does agree that there's a lot of work to be done. He believes that the potential is not recognized by a lot of people. According to him, Tesla plans to produce millions of these robots and sell them for less than 20,000 each. He further stated that he sees the Tesla bot as an incredible innovation in five or 10 years from now. If Tesla can scale up production of the Optimist, then it's also able to increase the rollout of its FWD software and all that could make a significant income boost to fund share buybacks in a few years. However, although many Tesla investors are bullish on a share buyback, there are still concerns about whether now or not it's the right time to do it. Some investors believe that if Tesla were to do a share buyback, then it should have enough cash reserve enough to cushion the effect of any unexpected situation that may pop up in the future. But without sufficient cash reserves, then the company may have to borrow some money or sell some shares and all that has a negative effect on its valuation. In fact, some Tesla investors suggest rather than financing a share buyback, they should focus more on factories ramping up production at its 4,680 cell. Stephenson's forecast assumes that Tesla will Grow earnings over the next couple of years by making FSD so compelling that more buyers will pay a higher price for it. Aside from FSD and Optimus Technologies, Tesla could also earn significant profits from the Robotaxi and semi-trucks.